Hey, hey, hey. Good morning and Grand Rising. Happy Saturday. What's up, y'all? I started to go live, but I'm just going to record real quick. Before I get my day started, I'm going to come on, pop on, and give y'all some current energy messages from the divine. I don't wash my hands so many times this morning <laughs> already, so I'm just putting some Cetaphil cream on. Does anybody work in a restaurant or food service industry? If you do, let me know in the comments, okay? What do you use to keep your hands moisturized? All right. I know that CeraVe works uh, pretty good, too. I didn't even mean to pick this up, but I guess there's a tarot message um, straight away. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap on in. Let me sage a little bit, though, real quick. Matter of fact, I'm going to use Palo Santo. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Also, my spirit guides and ancestors of the highest white light, I invite you to come on in the room. And be with me as I open myself up to channel the energy of these messages from the Most High, please. And thank you, Archangel Michael. I ask that you give extra protection and stand guard for me and the collective as I channel these messages and they receive them. Please and thank you. I ask that you protect my children, my home, my belongings from any and all negative. Thank you for the confirmation. <laughs> Any negative attacks, I know you already been doing it. Thank you very much. It is much appreciated. Somebody um, listening right now, you may be wondering if you are protected by the archangels. You are. And you can always ask for extra protection, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with asking. They say a closed mouth don't get fed. Right? Okay, so I'm going to go right on in and tap on. Oh, somebody feeling left out. I'm seeing the five of pentacles right. Oh, and the three of swords. Somebody is heartbroken and out of something. Five of pentacles out in the cold, outside, can't get in type energy. And I see a ten of swords peek right up under there. You see that? Some kind of betrayal occurred or a, a final painful ending. Hmm. You this could, now let me say this could be past, present, or future energy, right? But I'm asking, I'm, Holy Spirit, I want some current energy messages. So it'll be current whenever you see this video, okay? If there are messages in here for you. But if you've been guided to this message and clicked on the title, there probably are some messages here for you or someone else in your energetic field, okay? Somebody that you're around or that you're close to. So take the messages how they resonate. This is not a personal reading, all right? Oh, things could be getting balanced out. So this person could, somebody could be getting some comeuppance. They could be getting the same thing back that they did to someone else, perhaps. I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Ace of Wands. That's a passionate new beginning. Maybe somebody that you left out of the cold or put out of your home or something want to come back. Yeah, they want to offer you a passionate new beginning, a brand new offer of love or something. Or they could be, you know, concerned about that. Who you giving your love to these days? Mm. You could be a feminine energy with that wine coming up like that. Somebody want to know. Or not necessarily. They, somebody want to know who's offering their wine to you, you know, if you're accepting it. Or you could be wanting to know who somebody else is giving their wine to. Oh, we. A death. There's been a major ending or transformation here. Somebody could be working on transforming after leaving a situation or after you left a situation. Somebody's working on becoming stable so that they can more have so that they can have more options 
in a new beginning that they're either pursuing or uh, maybe looking to. I don't know. Who or what is this about, Holy Spirit? Yeah, look. Somebody. Oh, yes. With the confirmation, justice is happening. I just said somebody could be getting the same thing back that they did to someone else. That's justice. That's the scales being balanced. That is truth. Yeah, some kind of truth came out. And there's an 11 here. Take that how it resonates. Okay, the justice is the number 11. Wow. Wow. The justice and the strength. Mm. I'm getting you could have tamed somebody. You could have tamed your actions. Because look at this lion. Or this could be some, someone who was controlling someone or taming someone is what I'm getting here. I'm, gonna, I'm about to clarify this. And this strength card is a number eight. Okay. In the infinity sign right there too. On this card and the number 11 over there. Definitely getting like a high level soulmate connection. Again, take it how it resonates. Okay. But I'm getting like a divine feminine here has tamed someone. A whole beast. And so... I mean, that says a lot by itself, okay? And she got on heels, all right? So she's doing something that's not easy to do and looking good doing it. Ooh, confirmation. Y'all hear that? Let me move my phone over here so y'all can hear these confirmations. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. And you're about to receive justice. I really want to know what this is. And I'm seeing there could be a lot of ideas flowing in with those clouds there. Yeah, you. Do you see all of these sharp pieces? It's like. You were out in the cold. This is giving me like Iceland or I mean like, I don't know, uh, ice caps or something. Because those aren't mountains, not with those sharp peaks like that. This is so interesting. The things that I'm picking up off this card. Yeah, and this person right here that you tame, they showed their ass. This lion is, you can see his ass. Somebody showed their ass in this situation. But whatever it is, you're receiving justice. Wow. And these two are facing justice. So this could even be somebody that was controlling this person. They're both facing justice. Do you see that? It could be read two ways. This could be a... But this person has on a white dress. This is giving me divine energy, okay? She's making this... She's forcing this person. You see her holding the head? She's forcing this person to face justice. But she's doing it effortlessly as well. I mean, how much force are you applying in heels to a lion? Oh, uh, the wildest animal there could be. But she looks beautiful, powerful, and well-grounded. This is so mm. Ooh, 
the emperor. Yeah. Because okay, so the emperor is could be an energy that's very controlling. Again, somebody could have been uh, someone who was very controlling. Somebody was controlling that person. I don't know what this is. Oh. Yeah, somebody was trying to be controlling, but now, look, God is in control. This could also be somebody that someone married or was in a committed relationship with. They betrayed this person. We saw Ten of Swords, right? The Seven of Swords is deception, betrayal. Yeah. Yeah. They kept this person blind to something. This emperor. Yep, to keep... Yeah. Yeah, they did that to go between somebody else. Go between another connection. To come between another connection to keep a person stuck. And all in their head. Ooh, confirmation with the burp. Yep, and waiting for something. They could have sold this person a dream. Had them waiting on something that was never going never gonna to show up. And this person that's waiting is just on ground. They're not in their water. So this was not an emotional connection. Mm. Yeah, there was some manipulation here with this situation. The magician. Yeah, somebody was manipula manipulating this person to keep prevent them from making a choice. Yep, and moving forward. Yep. They um they wanted a person to ghost another situation. Yep, and they've been watching every they've been watching all of this go down. This person moved too quick. They know they did and they regret it. Yeah. They regret it. they all in their head about it, heartbroken about it, in their feelings and everything. Yeah. Cause they wanted to offer you you know, this cup of love, you know, and celebrate with you and all that, but they feel burdened about it now. This story keep coming out. I mean, damn, I'm tired of talking about it. I ain't gonna lie. This person could be watching me. This person wants to communicate that they feel rejected in a situation or that they're afraid of being rejected. Mm. Okay, let's clarify, Holy Spirit. Keep tell me more about justice. Yeah, walking away, having you waiting, being manipulative. Okay, so somebody could have walked away from you in the past. They could have even sold you a dream, had you waiting for something. But it was all lies and manipulation. Okay. Yeah. This was spell work. So somebody did spell work on you. Or another person. Mm. Let me clarify that. Again, this is giving me twin flame energy. Somebody wanted to break up a twin flame connection. Yep. And, and keep this person from making a choice to move forward. They wanted to keep this person stuck in another family situation. What's uh, the magician? Oh, look at that. Yeah. They were giving this person things. Okay. Giving this person things that just had them in awe. You know, they was really manipulating this person to get them in some kind of commitment with them, to work with them against you, against your connection. That's the truth, Spirit say. And this person now has the truth and clarity about that. It's something's been revealed. The truth has been revealed about a high priestess energy or about how someone should have been trusting their intuition. Yeah, and that's caused a whole 
man, a major change here. And somebody wants to apologize for that shit, too. Yeah. Eight of Cups. Mm. Yeah. Somebody somebody walked away from you. Male or female. Take it how it resonates for you, okay? Somebody walked away from you, but they could not... Yeah, this person did it for whatever this other person uh, was manipulating them with. Somebody definitely sold this person a dream. They made this person think that, you know, being, you need to walk away from that other divine soulmate connection over there. That ain't nothing. I got all of this over here. Let me buy you this. Let me buy you that. Let me give you this. Let me give you that. Meanwhile... Whoever you are in this divine energy, male or female, you don't you're not doing no shit like that. No. Ain't no tricking off um to have a companion. No. That's no. That's low vibrational five of pentacles, okay? So this person had a lack mindset anyway. So this like this person came along dangling a carrot of material shit. If you come this way, I give you this. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this person was mean to you. If they weren't mean to you, the way they cut the situation off was mean. There's two, look at this, three swords cards out here to clarify the Eight of Cups walking away energy. Okay? Somebody was mean about it. All right? Very decisive, though. Like, just cut and dry. Didn't tell you. Like, didn't discuss anything. Which didn't give you no reason, no explanation, or nothing. Just cut you off. Okay? But couldn't stop. Couldn't keep their ass off you. Couldn't stop watching you. Couldn't stop paying attention. Couldn't stop worrying about what the fuck you was doing. Even though... They was being narcissistic, okay? And they make this fast move. Mm, mm, mm. All because they thought they was going to end up in the King of Pentacles energy. Huh. They, yeah, they still waiting on that shit. It never happened. It was gang, as we say in Chicago. Like my aunties and my... My aunties and my uncles used to say, that ain't number gang. That one number gang. Okay? This person hurt you for a, a bunch of lies. Little tokens and trinkets. Yeah. Put an end to the situation that y'all had. Yeah. So, this person had you waiting. You know what I'm saying? So, you were guided away from them and to close up a cycle. And you did that. You did that. And see, you walking away and allowing this toxic-ass cycle to close up. You getting your divine self away from this person. It initiated their karma. Okay, it initiated this justice happening. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, this person was manipulated because they were they were oh yeah. See how my hand itching? It's all about money. They were focused on money. It was all for money. Yeah. You heard that confirmation? It was all for money. All I see is swords and pinnacles. People spitting game, lies, and talking about money. That's all that that's all it was. Ain't a cup out here. No emotions, no love. 
Ain't nobody sitting, stepping in the water. Nowhere. Look. The only cuffs is the eight of cuffs where someone is walking away where they they done turn their back on all of that. Okay? Look at the cards down here. On the ground. Grounded. Feet on the ground. Okay? Running with the knight of swords. Moving moving fast. Okay? Being guided through your emotions. Away from the situation. So wrap it all up. Right? And this ain't water that she is. She's in the cloud. She has, this person has ascended. Okay? Then for this manipulation, this magician. Okay? Ground. Ground. This person was never, this person was never going to get the money that they thought they had coming. Or whatever kind of material abundance that was promised to them by this third party person. It was never coming. It was never coming. There's no love. There's no nurture. There's none of that happening. Tell me more about the strength, please. Why is the strength card here? Yeah. Again, you were strong. You moved on. Your strength alone is the justice in the situation. Mm. The way you moved on and moved forward, that energy... Is what is taming this person. They can't help but to stop and look. They're facing their justice now. Yeah, just because that strength is all about you moving forward. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, this will of fortune. Again, I just said, when you made that choice to close this cycle, all right, you trusted your divine guidance at that point, you closed this cycle, the wheel turned. Bringing in good fortune for you, bad fortune for them, right? Yeah, all those illusions, you move past that for a new beginning. And it's being successful. Whatever you're doing, you're getting a lot of attention for it too. But instead of you doing it with this person, you by yourself. Getting a lot of attention up there by yourself. And people watching. They watching every damn thing you're doing. Because you move forward and you balance your energy. And you roll with the truth. She got these star earrings on. Yes, yeah, she is healed. Or healing. You know, we're all in the process of healing once you start that journey. You know, it ain't it ain't never. You're gonna always have something to heal from if you just keep on living. Mm. Yeah. See, you you in the past you were, you know, like that. Look, you was felt bound to this person because they were they were manipulating you to keep you stuck there. So the same thing happened for them with this toxic energy that they walked away from you from. The Queen of Wands, third party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was doing Everything toxic that she can to hold on to this person. You see how that person hold on to that coin? Cause see, it was his. It was this person's greed. Confirmation. They got them there. Mm -hmm. But see, what they didn't realize is that. Well, now this is you. Now you're demanding truth from this person. And they know they got to bring that in before there'll be any type of passion between the two of you or any kind of passionate connection. It's not happening. Yeah, because you guarded now. You've been through too much. Yeah, so now you're protecting your energy from this person. You probably used to be in the queen of, queen of cups with them. You know, now not only is this you... This you blocking and protecting yourself, but this the energy of your ancestors. Like, I, I wish a motherfucker would. You can't even, no. 
No. Because this person, and Five of Swords, this is the second time this came out and showing itself. Five of Swords is also mind games and manipulation. So as long as this person still even think about trying to play any mind games with you, lie to you, or um, manipulate you in any type of way, they won't be allowed. They won't be allowed to come your way. Uh-uh. So, and this person know it too because they've tried many times. Now they just stuck in, in their head about the whole situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they going through a transformation, all right. Yep. Because they put a lot of work into this other situation. Wow. But see, I'm getting whoever you are. You you got enlightened about all this and you put an end to it. You started focusing on yourself. Okay? Choosing yourself. Whereas, you know, before you were just completely committed to this connection between you and this other person. Now, you only worried about yourself. Yep. You put an end to that. You put an end to that. Put it in the past, right? Yeah, and somebody regrets that. They regret that because you've balanced out your energy now and you're not... This person... Um, what I'm getting to is that you... The same way you used to react, that's how this person is now. So, in the past, you could have been more emotional and in your feelings, you know, and stuff like that. When the two of you all were having problems, you're not anymore. You're well balanced in your energy. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. This person could have even been engaged in the same sex relations. Wow. Somebody was. And somebody found out. And they feel completely betrayed. But they trying to act like everything is fine. Just the fact that these are these two together back to back alone. Oh my God. Hold on, let me see. What is this same sex energy, Holy Spirit? A new love. See how she got on that rainbow, too? Yeah, somebody was sneaking. I see the Seven of Swords with this. Somebody, somebody was sneaking around. Oh, yes. Damn. Ooh, ooh. Baby. That made somebody, that, that, that put a complete end to a situation. Yeah. They call judgment on this Holy Spirit. Tell us more. What happened? What is this? Karma. Mm -hmm. This was this this was oh my goodness this this came from the divine. Damn. Wow. There's going to be some communication about this that you may need to. You know, it's going to require you to be strong because it's a major betrayal that you've been blind to. Wow. Another third party energy that somebody was being passionate with. A Knight of Wands again. Wow. 
But with that 10, something has come to an end. This is a lot here, baby. With this wheel, too, that also means like a change in fortune. So, this other energy, you hear all this, the kids out there screaming and shit, all that is relevant. But with this change in fortune, some of you all were guided away from a situation because had you stayed there, you would be having a change in your fortune. There's a lot of conflict here. Hmm. Wow. With the change you made in this connection, some of you are with the six, you're in alignment now for something. You're going to get some communication about it, I'm guessing. Hmm. Mm -mm. What else is this Ten of Wands? I mean, Ten of Swords, Betrayal, Holy Spirit. Tell us more, please. Ooh, so somebody was... Ooh, somebody was prostituting. I'm kidding. It was revealed that somebody was getting paid for something. Ooh, ooh, they found out the truth. And while somebody was playing all these mind games, what was they getting paid for, Holy Spirit? Make it plain, please, and thank you. I know what I'm feeling, but... I, mm, mm, mm. Somebody's love for somebody, that shit is over. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords justice again somebody feel like a fucking fool and they know that this is their justice mm, mm, mm. that should be the title of the reading somebody feel like a fool Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, now this person want to reunite with you and they deep in their feelings, but you closed this cycle up between them. Mm -hmm. Due to that new love that they left you for, and then they was out here acting single on top of that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they want to put something to rest with that Queen of Pentacles because they want to come back to you. Didn't I say you was the Queen of Cups energy to this person? I already knew it. Yeah, they regret that shit because they were not, wherever they went to, it was all about materialism. Optics. Something looking good. There was nothing real there. Mm, mm, mm. Excuse me. I see 66 here. The fool is zero. And again, justice is 11. Mm, mm, mm. The fool. Yeah. Somebody from your past is the fool. Damn. <laughs> Mm -mm. Wow. They are. Mm -mm -mm. Now, Six of Cups could also be a gift. Ooh. Because this is Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. What is 
this trying to show? The divine is rewarding you. Yep. For making the right choice. Wow. Okay, I just, oh my goodness, baby. I just got something so damn beautiful. Listen to me. This isn't even so much about that other person. Okay? Because of the way you close out this cycle, some of you are in this Six of Wands energy here, okay? You are getting so many blessings guided to you. And whoever you are, you really did tame a wild beast. You did. You tamed a wild beast. And it was difficult as fuck, okay? And it could could have been deadly. Right? Yet and still, you did it with ease. Like wearing high heels in a damn juggle. Ain't bust a sweat, yet you tamed a wild beast. The king of the motherfucking jungle. At that. Let me write this down, because this shit right here, baby. You did that. I'm, I'm kind of like speechless. I ain't going to even lie. You're about to receive extra gifts. Like, things are really, you really finna have your way out here in the world. You really are. Let me ask the divine, what else would you like this person to know? Ooh. Yeah, you were a gift to this person as well. Holy Spirit, what else would you like for uh, my viewer to know? Mm, King of Wands. With this salamander, to me, that's a symbol of transformation. Okay? And whether you're a male or female, you can be... Um, a king of wands, okay? This is someone who takes action. Again, you out here taming wild animals. You're doing something extraordinary and you're looking good while you're doing it, okay? Same like that king of wands. And now he ain't even got the word. You ain't even got the word about taming this motherfucker no more. They gonna follow right behind you Wait, like a dog. They gonna go where you go. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. The energy I'm getting off of this. Yeah, what's hidden? Yeah, some communication. Wish fulfillment. Something put the rest. Mm. We'll see. What else does the viewer need to know, Holy Spirit? Yeah. With this page of swords, you're getting a lot of attention. People are watching how you do whatever you do, and it's, it's a lot of conflict, okay? It could also be, you know, whatever you're doing. That should look like magic, I'm telling you. People are wondering, how are you doing this? 
You got a lot of eyes on you. They watching. Yep, and some people stuck in their head about it. They fucked up in the head trying to figure out how do you keep getting blessings? How? Yeah. How? Causing all kind of tower moments. People see how you've transformed. And even though these people, you know, were doing things that should have affected you in a negative or adverse way, it did not. It did not. You just keep getting more and more blessings. They focused on pinnacles and material things, and you just keep getting blessed with it. It ain't even your focus. Yeah, but that's part of their judgment. What else does the viewer need to know, Holy Spirit? Whoever this message is for. This beast tamer. <laughs> I'm getting beauty and the beast. Right here. Because, see, it wasn't only what this third-party person used everything that they knew that could get this person. They used all of their weaknesses against them as a means to control them. But they couldn't. Even with giving this person everything that they even thought the person would, they still could not keep this person from watching you, wondering about you, trying to get to you, right? Mm, mm, mm. And this person has had their eyes on you the whole time because where they went to was where the money was at. But they left their heart with you. Even when it didn't seem like it. Even when this motherfucker was being mean in the King of Swords, the King of Swords energy. Couldn't stop watching you. Couldn't stop wondering what you were doing, what you had going on, what you were up to next. Mm -hmm. And now you in this divine energy, you don't completely, you just had a major glow up. Not only that, this person's deception towards you has been exposed. Yeah. Excuse me. They want they know they need to apologize before they can even think about the two of you, you know, getting back together or whatever. But this person wants to be with you and work with you. Yeah, they feel like they was they were manipulated to to end things with you. And they were, but still, they shouldn't have been so goddamn gullible. It shouldn't have been so thirsty and greedy. Especially if this was a man standing on your own two feet, your own ten toes. Yeah. And they got to the, they got to apologize. Hold on. What's why is why the mm. So these keep showing themselves. The page of cups, the two of cups again, the hermit, knight of wands. This person could have This new love that they chose end up ghosting them to partner up with someone else. And they did it quickly. Same thing they did with you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ain't that what they did? I see the moon. Something was a secret. Yeah. This Knight of Wands. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. This Knight of Wands lustful energy. 
is what caused an ending. Okay? It made, it, and a transformation. Had this person, you know, in straight devil toxic energy. This could even be representing like a karmic energy, that third party person. Okay? This person was manipulating your person to, you know, stay with them and stay away from you. Put an end to y'all connection. They use lust. They use lust and finances. But now they broke now. They can't they can't do that no more. So make sure this person not trying to come back into your life because they back in that five of pentacles broke minded ass mentality and they're afraid that they won't have enough. That's low vibrational. And all you're going to do is keep attracting that energy of not having enough. Keep that motherfucker away from you because you don't want to be in that energy of not having enough. Because you're attracting victory and success. Yeah, this new love, man, somebody went within and realized some shit. That's what this tower is, an epiphany. Yep, it was. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to slow down the connection between the two of you. What else does my viewer need to know, Holy Spirit? Something else here. King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person actually sees you as wish fulfillment and wants to hold on to you. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. This could also be this person saw you as wish fulfillment, but they were they were just folk they were greedy. They were focused on pentacles. You know, and now they lacking. Or it's just because at the time they were. They wanted to be in this boss energy, a king of pentacles, someone stable, you know, and final, uh, financially solid. Able to have their way in the world, do whatever they want. Have their wishes fulfilled. Yeah, it was greed. This person is greedy. Yeah, and controlling. A player. Wow. Mm-hmm. And the person, their divine, their, I ain't going to say divine, but their counterpart broke their heart. Now this person deep in their feelings. Because they got the same thing they put out. Anything else to collect of Shano Holy Spirit? What else should my viewer know? What did I say about the moon card? What's hidden here? Why did the moon come out? Whatever it is, it's going to come out. Ooh, we. Yeah, whatever was a secret, it was, it was, it was, um, The truth came out. Yeah. About the third party. Yeah. So, this, like I said, this person sold your per this Your person was selling you a dream because they were trying to hold on to a situation for some sort of abundance. And the person that they were holding on to sold them a dream. But you taught this person a lesson by moving forward, putting yourself first, however long it took you to do it. You did it. But when you did, and you really stepped back energetically, oh, the, the, this person's, that karmic, that, that wheel of fortune, that karmic wheel, it went a full turn, a full half. You were down here at the bottom, you know, because this person, that circumstance, this situation just had you in a negative place. But when you released it and you up here and now they're down there, 
Look where this person is, energetically. Okay? Beating the fuck down. Pretending that everything is fine. They Ain't nothing fine. Ain't nothing fine. They don't want to talk to you about it. Holy Spirit, give us a card on this person that's experiencing um, this negative karma. What's their current energy? Yeah. Stuck in an illusion. Or coming out of it. Why the Seven of Cups? Yeah. Yep. Tower moment for this emperor. Yeah. He's had some kind of epiphany. Okay? The divine. It was divine. He got it. All right? To close this cycle here. Mm -mm. Wow. Yes. Mm -mm. The Seven of Cups is also commitment phobic. This person... This person also has major commitment issues. This could also be related to their father in the way their father does things. Mm. So maybe this person has some kind of epiphany about why they are the way they are, you know, and where it came from. But yeah, this person's father could have been very controlling. They could have been very controlling over their mother or, you know, they could have saw them being very controlling in other connections. And with the higher thing here, there was something about, you know, the way they did things, their values. But this person is ready to walk away from that with the, the world card. Mm -mm. Yeah. They want to operate in honesty now because lying, you know, trying to be like they daddy only got them right here. This person got that from his daddy. Mm -mm. Wow. Yep. The hermit. Yeah, this person had to go within. They had to go within to try. I, I don't. I don't know if it was you know after a heartache that they received. Or some kind of loss that they experienced or a breakup. Oh, it could have been after a loss with the uh, child. It could have even been a loss to you. Yeah, this person is in hermit mode. So they could be in hermit mode right now. Yeah. Excuse me. They experienced a loss due to failure to make a decision. Okay, I'm getting this as you. That's why you block, you know. You're blocking them. Your energy, energetically, you giving. Don't even bring your ass over here. I ain't got time for this. Uh-uh. But this, one, this person wants to come and offer you something. You know it, though. Intuitively, you know this person is coming. Yeah, they want to reunite. It's someone from your past that you turned your back on. Yep, and got in the Queen of Swords on. You're not playing with this person no more. Yeah, you walked away and you left your feelings there. Yep, and you've been strong about it too this whole time. 
and you being strong and not giving in got this person deep in their feelings. Yep. But I'm getting that whoever this person is, they are learning a lesson. This toxic way of loving is probably all they've ever seen before. Okay? And you know, most boys, they want to be like their daddy when they grow up. So, if you grew around this type of toxic love, you don't see anything wrong with it, right? Well, this person didn't see anything wrong with their toxic love or their toxic values until they came across a divine energy. Okay? And you couldn't even, maybe you weren't even in this energy when you met this person. But you are now for whatever reason. Okay? And this person has been tamed energetically, if nothing else. They somewhere working on themselves. They somewhere trying to figure themselves out and understand themselves why they are the way that they are. They know it, but they got a lot of reconciling to do because they've been doing a lot of a lot of bad things, making a lot of bad choices. That they were okay with. And, and they know now without a shadow of a doubt that it's not okay. It's not okay. Because the scales are completely being balanced. And they feeling that shit. Yes, they are. Let's see. Let me pull one of these. To wrap up the message. What's this moonology card want to be saying? Show the world a real you. Yeah, whoever you are, you get a lot of attention. And you being authentic with it too. And that's beautiful. And this person is seeing that. Yeah. Huh? Letting go. Yep, right now. And and you're in this energy right now, like you're releasing things that no longer serve you. And that's what you should be doing. But this person, they get it. They know you is not playing. They know you're not playing. No, you are protecting your peace, whoever you are. You may have said that to this person, but whether you said it verbally or energetically, they, they, understand, they got it. <laughs> they done got the signs. Yes, they have. They synced it. This person feels like they can't believe they even treated you the way that they did. You know, they've never even met a person like you before. You're not the average. Yep. This person could have really been fighting it for some reason. Um, I ain't going to say for some reason. I'm going to say due to the values that they had. You know, but... They couldn't dip off on you and walk away from you like they may have done other people. For some reason, this person could not, they just could not let you go. They could not release this attachment that they had to you. Yeah, they knew there was something special about you. This person knew the divine brought you into their life. Mm -hmm. Closing messages for the viewer, Holy Spirit. gratitude yes so even though this situation um could have been painful for you you know if you're not in this energy of gratitude get there okay be grateful for it all because there was a lesson for you to learn and master and i'm getting that if this if this message was for you you learned the lesson okay be grateful for the growth that has come into your life your life is a lot more fruitful Okay, as a result of you learning, yeah, you've made so many changes. Now you got a lot going on, you know. 
you didn't you you got to the point where you wasn't taking everything that this person was doing personally. You know it didn't have anything to do with you. That came with the growth. Be grateful for that. Show gratitude for that. Okay. This could have been a lesson that you've experienced multiple times, but you finally got it this time. That's why you got all these blessings um, coming around for you. That's why you were tracking so much. Yes. Okay. Help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that. Yes. You surrendered to source. You prayed your way out of this situation. And because your prayers were answered, make sure you are uh, showing gratitude regularly. Okay. Tap it in. Whoever you are, you have a great connection with Source. I, I, I felt like you were a divine feminine or a divine being the whole time. Yeah, you trust the guidance that you were receiving. Continue to do that. Continue to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Divine is what guided you out of this loss. So make sure you're showing gratitude. Don't act like you don't know where it came from. That's what I'm getting. Not only that, I just saw energetic clearing. Yeah, you cleared your energy. All right? You see this green again? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now, you have less fear and zero attachments is what I'm getting. And you needed that. You needed that because that's going to be part of your transformation. I see butterflies there and butterflies here. Mm. Yep. Whoever you are, your faith got you through this situation. It really did. A lot of people may not even know uh, how spiritual you are because you're very uh, well balanced. Yeah, so you probably went through this situation alone. You dealt with this alone. You you took it to God, you know? Yep. That's how you got that unexplainable peace, though. A lot of people are probably looking at you and they don't even understand, damn, how did she get there, you know? But that's because they didn't see the work going on behind the scenes. Yeah, all the time you spent getting yourself grounded, you know, pouring into yourself with self-love, focusing on yourself. You know? While they were doing whatever they were doing, you were focused on and loving on yourself. That's how you, that's how you got in that energy of peace with that sanctity card. Can I get one more, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. One more to close out the message. Yeah, so stay focused on your individual, you know, on yourself. Yes, because this is what you got. It's going to flow through, fall in, just like that. You earned this. This is part of that good karma for you. You were born to align with love's will, follow the towel, and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. And I feel like that's the energy you are you are currently in, okay? Gifts are being just thrown at you. You know, you just being blessed generously. But that's because of the karmic lesson that you uh, mastered. Yeah, you're receiving what you're worth now. Only. Yeah, you in this divine flow and this peace energy. Hmm. This is happening for me, not to me. Yeah, you refrain. You don't think like that anymore. You know. Yep, you're not in any kind of delusion. And you know. You know you're special. Unique. I said earlier in a reading that you were operating in authenticity. The most High loves that. Okay, yeah, because you had an awakening. Okay. So this situation could have been a catalyst for your awakening, you know? Yeah, it felt like you were in heavy grief, right? And instead of you wilding out, acting crazy, uh, doing things that could have potentially got you locked up, 
You went to source. Right? You went to source. Who gave you all the guidance that you needed to clear that energy up off of you. Right? To get grounded and focus on all the extraordinary beauty that's in you. Instead of getting caught up in a delusion that this person was trying to project on you and, and being trapped in the thought of why is this happening to me? Okay? Despite all that took place, you are currently at peace and in a divine flow. Okay? Loving on yourself Knowing your worth, okay? And receiving divine, receiving divine abundance, baby. That's beautiful. All of this is a result of your awakening. Okay? So everything happened for a reason. All that happened for a reason. You know why it happened now. So continue to trust the signs. Continue to have faith. Okay. And you good. You good. Whoever you are. But yeah, this other person. They've been tamed. From all that toxic shit they got from their dude. Alright. Yes. This person is even starting to deepen their connection. Look how sad they look. Mm -hmm. But they going through awakening too and getting that karma. I told you. All right. I'm going to let y'all go. Go enjoy your Saturday. Do something nice for yourself. Okay. Do some, get yourself some self love. Get out and get some grounding. And, you know, smile. Have a good time. Do something to make you happy. I don't care how the day started or what yesterday was about. All right? It's a brand new day. The sun came up. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you have not already subscribed, I invite you to do so. And until next time, y'all, peace.